50 Cent has revealed that he originally intended to have Trina join him on one of his hit records, but ended up giving the assist to Lil' Kim instead. Apple Music caught up with 50 while backstage at a recent London concert on the final lap tour where he opened up about getting Kim to replace the Diamond Princess on 2003's Magic Stick after the latter fucked up the record. Get Rich, it was 20 songs. I had no room for Magic Stick, which was written for Get Rich or Die Tryin', but it didn't make it, he explained. I wrote that record to intentionally work with Trina, I sent it to Trina, and they fucked up the record. I was like, yo. The lyrics and everything was messed up. G. Roberson heard the record and came and got it from me. He was like, yo, I need this for Kim. I need it. 50 continued, she had made a good record but it didn't have the formula that Biggie created for her to have success in our culture. It didn't have the sexuality. It was like, I've been gone for a minute, now I'm back, the record with her and Mr. Cheeks. But Magic Stick was spot on for her. The Phantom of the Beat produced Magic Stick arrived in April 2003 after being left on the Get Rich cutting room floor, serving as Kim's second single from La Bella Mafia. The raunchy anthem debuted at number 75 on the Hot 100 and climbed all the way up to number 2 but was blocked out by Jay-Z and Bay's Crazy in Love. Elsewhere in the interview, 50 admitted that Many Men was actually his least favorite Grot song at the time his 2003 debut arrived. Many Men was my least favorite at that point, because musically we was in the boom bap phase, he said. We was in that hard-hitting intensity, the energy on the records, and it's the slowest song on Get Rich or Die Tryin'. And it's now the tempo that the artists are rapping to. So the fast tempo, hard-hitting beats, that was that era, that time period and the whole album had it. However, the song's producer, Six Figga Digga, has since refuted 50's statement in an interview with TMZ. In my humble opinion, that was the point, he said. If you got a track like that, along with the other tracks that Dr. Dre did, then it's not going to sound the same because I'm not Dr. Dre. Also, when it was done, it was a different frame of mind, a different way of thinking, so when you're trying to blend those two things together, I can 